Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Monday, March the 1st, and it's 153. How about that? 153 fishes. <laughs> it's 153 p.m., and I have got a message from the Lord. I believe it is from the Lord, and uh, it came in a letter from Dawn, and it's somebody that doesn't normally send her um a prophecy on um, like Monday through Friday it's usually her usual people and then these people that don't usually send stuff she'll put up on Saturday and Sunday well anyway that's all right maybe she didn't have anything from the other people you know God doesn't have to keep on a calendar and put up something every day to somebody all right now they're all good so I'm going to go through them quickly the trumpet by Bill Burns is believe that you can be restored all right you have to believe that believe in me for i will bring you to a place where you can do far better than you imagined i will help you find a place of believing and receiving i have undergirded you with the word of truth now allow the word of truth to take you on this journey of restoration. Be restored in my presence. Be restored in my word. For this is the season you find yourself in. This is exactly what I have for you. I say to you, simply believe and allow my spirit to bring you to a place of restoration that's like transfiguration restoration being made like new so you can be all that you were designed to be says the lord now that is a bit a beautiful encouraging word from the lord this is called Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. In a vision, I saw a family of mountain goats living on a steep, rugged cliff as though the terrain was level ground. See, goats don't always mean something bad. They were jumping from one crag to another effortlessly with sure-footedness and i heard the lord say that this is a type of what it is to live and move in spiritual high places where the supernatural becomes as natural as breathing this is like doing supernatural things healing people uh praying in the spirit over somebody you know, laying your hands on them, leading them, leading them through this prayer of salvation, things like that, you know, becomes natural. It should become like, like breathing, is what he says. He has given us the ability to expertly navigate the difficulties of our lives by the power of his spirit. Romans 8, 14 says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. So all those denominations that leave the Holy Spirit out of every sermon, of every gathering, they're missing out. They're, they are missing out terribly. And even those who are, the devil's attacking them something fierce until they fall apart. This is, this is the one that's, uh, I'll call special, because it's Monday, and she's still got a different person in here. All right. It's called, A Word for My Wise Virgins. Um, she may have titled it that, because through the Aramaic Bible, during the Bible study from um, Team Jesus that we were on one night, 
We figured it out that the ten virgins are all left behind. And they're all waiting for the return of Christ because we told them that we would be back with Jesus to get them all. And when it says in the parable that they were all waiting for the bridegroom, that is supposed to say bride and groom, okay? So the wise virgins are sitting there with the non unwise virgins who ran out of oil. And now I believe personally that means trust. And they had to go back out into the world to get their you-know-what so they could buy oil or something like that. At any rate, why would someone who believed in the Lord so strongly that they were willing to sit and wait, they were dressed right, they were with the other ones who were waiting, they weren't at, out in the world watching movies and dancing and at the bars, they were waiting on the Lord. And Jesus told them when they came back and knocked at the door, what did he say? Truly I say to you, I do not know you. And he didn't. Because they had been changed into something he did not create. Let me go ahead and get started. A word from my wise virgins. That's why I think she titled it. Part 1 of 2. Your transformation comes quickly. You know what to do. Now this time coming is the hardest part. Be patient. Remember, I relent. My choices are fluid at times. My ways are not your ways. Trust me. Be ready at all times. The worst of times will be your best of times. I will do miracles through you. Your brightness will shine everywhere you go. I will make you whole, bright, shiny, and new. That's the transfiguration. Peace be to you, my loves, my doves, my beautiful ones. Teach my new converts. Excuse me, had an itch there. Teach my new converts about me and my goodness. Teach them my will in my ways. Direct them to my word for their finished work. Your rewards will be great, my children. Never forget my love for you. I come to you and touch your heart in ways only you and I can understand. But you already know this. To share this will be your challenge. Boy, howdy, sharing stuff is hard. Old friends will return. New ones will disappear into the darkness. Now I think he's talking to us as though we were already transfigured. You cannot save them all. They are my finished work. Remember them in prayer as the weight of your prayers will justify their guilt and give them opportunities with me they would never have. This is why your prayer time is so very important, my children. Do not neglect our time. Satan will be coming at you harder because his time is short. I have and will equip you for the coming days. Receive your mantles. Receive your assignments. Go forward and execute my plan. I am using your hands and feet. Walk in my fullness, not yours. Many of you do not feel worthy. This is my heart. 
I know how you feel. I see the deepest pain and desire to let it go. Do not carry these burdens any longer. Let them go. Give them to me. Release your pain. I give you joy in the morning. And this is where heart healing and deliverance can come in. To get rid of these deep down pains that steal our joy at times. It's not, it's very freeing. And as he says, I give you joy in the morning. Even in these dark days, my children, you will and should carry my joy. This is not about you. This is about everyone else. You will be sheltered from much. You will be emotionally hardened to accomplish your ministry. I'm glad about that because I was saying, Lord, you're going to have to harden me up or I, I'm not going to be able to do this. You know, seeing dead people around and some he's going to say, go bring that one back to life. But the rest of these, you leave them go. Because they probably were, were going to go to hell anyway. And that one was going to go to heaven. But needed to repent of something. I don't know. It's his ways, not my ways. Alright, so you will be emotionally hardened to accomplish your ministry. This will give you the ability to endure the awful events which are to come. This is how you will be able to rise up and activate your healing ministries. This is a mystery released to some. Many already have this information in their private journals. The rest of you are to know this now. My babes will be part of this activation. They will work alongside my seasoned saints. The more of you who are able to work together, the more power you will have against the darkness. There will be a great transformation coming soon. My bride bound to pharmacia, that would be me, will become free of it. Bodies will be healed for the final leg of your journeys. That's our, the final leg of what we are to do for Christ is after we're transfigured. When we are transfigured, we will be totally healed of anything wrong with us. Okay, so that says for the final leg of your journeys, no longer under Satan's control. Be of good cheer, my loves. Battle rams ready. War is in the heavenlies, which means it is coming to earth soon. Given with the message was the word consecration, and it means ready yourself for the Lord's coming. The Bible verses Leviticus 8 21 through 31, that's kind of long, so I'm not going to read it to you. You look that up, Leviticus 8, 21 through 31, and Isaiah 3, 16 through 26. And I'll put those in the description box. Okay? All right. With that, I'll say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, over our devices, and over all of our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later, as the Lord wills. Okay, bye for now.